Tonight, Iowa State Fair organizers are putting the finishing touches before they welcome thousands to fairgrounds next month. And among, among it is new sanitation stations you'll see around the park. Also a heightened focus on security. Local 5's Lakin McGee joins us live from the fairgrounds. Lakin, what are you finding with the added security measures? Hey, so uh, I think we should not say added because we should say enhanced because here's the deal at the I Iowa State Fair, their police department here, they say that they're going to be doing everything that they did in past years, but they're enhancing it or in other words, they're ramping it up. So for example, say you have a pocket knife here and the blade is longer than three inches. Well, you're not going to be able to take that in. So what you're going to have to do is walk it back to your car or unlucky enough, throw it in the trash can. So you're going to have to do the security line all over again. But once you get to right here at these main gates, this is where the enhanced metal detectors are going to come in play. So you're going to see a few uh, grabbing attention signs there because like I just showed you, getting into the fairgrounds will look different this year. An additional $300,000 to $400,000 was added to the state fair budget for safety this year. So that will include metal detectors at all nine main gates. Well, this will be the first year we've used the magnetometers. We've just done bag checks in the pack. And also in the years past, we've had just a handheld, what are you called, wands. It's a metal detector wand uh, where you may be screened briefly with the wand. This will be the first time we've used the walkthrough detectors. And there will be added eyes on fairgoers. Many officers will be in average looking clothes roaming around too. So to make sure you know exactly what you can and cannot bring into the state fairgrounds, we do have a list and an, uh, a link to where you can click on to find all of that on our website, weareiowa.com. But for now, I'm reporting live in Des Moines, Lake and McGee, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Lake and thank you. And you can see the full story tonight at 10 right here on Local 5.